If you're looking for the best floor standing speakers, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the First position of our list, we have Clipshark P8000F Floor Standing Speaker Pair. It is not difficult to recognize a clip speaker, either by the way it looks with its copper spun speakers and Tractrix horn, or the sound quality. The RP8000F is one of their reference range, which comes with a big reputation. They are sure to be considered as one of the best quality floor standing speakers around. The cabinets have a two-way design. They feature two 8-inch ceramic woofers and a 1-inch titanium tweeter. These are paired with a 90 by 90 degree Tractrix horn. The horn itself is a clip specialty. Its silicone face helps to give a smooth frequency response and a very natural sound. The tweeter is vented and is designed to eliminate any standing waves which can produce unwanted harmonics, thus delivering an accurate and detailed high-frequency reproduction with minimal distortion. The woofers are rigid but also lightweight in design. They are placed in a non-resonating steel basket and are made into a copper wound voice coil for increased conductivity. Moving on to the next and number two with SVS Prime Pinnacle. This is a floor-mounted speaker from the SVS Prime range. It is an impressive sight standing 41 and a half inches tall, just under 14 inches deep and eight inches wide. It is made from MDF fiberboard with a one inch thickness for the front baffle and three slash four for the sides. The internals of the cabinet are given a damping material. One of the interesting design features is that internally each base driver is given a separate enclosed section with a rear facing port. There are three enclosures, so you get three separate base ports. At this price range, that is an unusual feature. It is structured inside with angled bracing that creates solid rigidity. With the specially designed front baffle, SVS has managed to eliminate unwanted resonances. And underneath the cabinet, it has rubber feet. The layout of the drivers inside is also worth noting. At the top, there is a 5.25-inch mid-range driver, and underneath it a 1-inch tweeter with an aluminum dome design. Below the tweeter, three 6.5-inch woofers. The number three position is held by Jamo Studio Series S807WL Walnut Floor Standing Speakers. They have an elegant design and deliver excellent sound. They have a one-inch soft dome tweeter that delivers smooth, accurate high frequencies to work perfectly with two polyfiber five-inch woofers. These give you a powerful and balanced bottom end. The front firing port extends the low frequencies to ensure the balance. Having the port in that position allows the cabinet to be placed near a wall without interfering with the sound. The design of the Studio Series S cabinets looks plain and understated, but they have a chic, modern look. Made from a dense MDF, they are well-built and stable. This stability is emphasized by the design of the protruding metal feet. These have soft pads that are low profile and give good balance. The extended length grills are magnetic, and the speakers look great with them on or off. There are some finer details included that set these speakers apart. There is some nice accented wood grain around the tweeters, and trim rings for the woofers add to the style. The speakers measure 36.2 inches high by 7.52 by 9.92. They have a power rating of 100 watts RMS and a frequency response of 42 HC, 26 HC. The speakers are Dolby Atmos ready. Next, at number 4, we have a LAC debut 2.0 F6.2 floor standing speaker. The British speaker designer Andrew Jones has had a glittering career designing speakers at KEF, Pioneer, and TAD. His TAD Reference 1 is considered one of the best speakers ever made. These days, he is a VP for a LAC, and debut 2 has received the Jones treatment. This floor standing speaker has a three-way design. There are two 6.5-inch woofers with aramid fiber cones and a further 6.5-inch mid woofer with the same cone design. Completing the lineup is a 1-inch cloth dome tweeter. This is a wide roll that lifts the frequency response to 35 kHz. The waveguide gives the speaker control over the direction and reduces diffraction. There is a multi-element crossover and gold 5-way post. The speaker has a peak power performance of 140 watts. The frequency response is 39 HC to 35 KHC. The cabinet is made from MDF fiberboard. It has an internal bracing that increases its stiffness and strength. Having a cabinet that is stiff reduces vibrations, 
but will interfere with the sound performance. The number 5 position is held by KLH Kendall 3-way floor standing speaker. This speaker is a 3-way system. It has 261 2-inch drivers made from Kevlar. They have oversized magnets. There is a further Kevlar mid-range driver that is 5-1-4 inches and also an aluminum 1-inch tweeter. If you use this speaker without its grill, it reveals the brushed aluminum around the drivers and the tweeter a nice aesthetic touch. The cabinet is made from a very dense 3 quarter inch MDF fiberboard and has internal sections to house the drivers. It has a walnut veneer finish. On the back are two rear-facing base ports and the connection points are nickel-plated and have bi-amp capability. It has an MDF base and a choice between spikes or rubber feet depending on the surface where you place it. The grill is a magnetic snap-on with no visible fixing points. The cabinet is 40 inches high and 14.75 deep and 7.75 inches wide. It weighs 50 pounds, which for its size you would expect. The number 6 position is dominated by Aperion Audio Novus Home Theater Speaker. The Aperion Novus Tower is a floor-standing speaker is excellent for music and movies and, as we shall see, has all the right features. It is a two-way system that delivers up to 150 watts of peak power. The cabinet is well-built with some internal bracing that removes unwanted resonance. It has two 5.25-inch drivers with aramid fiber cones which are given rubber surrounds. Firstly, to conceal the speaker fittings, and secondly, to act as a vibration dampener. These are long-throw speakers with a low level of direction and a wide range. In between these and the setup is a silk dome 1-inch tweeter. This is a neodymium magnet and a voice coil that is ferrofluid cooled. They have quite a flat frequency response. They feature an attractive aluminum faceplate and have a metal grill. The speaker has a frequency response of 36 30,000 HZ. There's a slotted reflex base port located on the front of the cabinet. But this is a different design. Rather than being a round or square port, it is vertical. This is the result of spreading the low frequencies and increasing base presence. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Q Acoustics 3050 Floor Standing Speaker Pair. Established in the UK in 2006, Q Acoustics has come a long way since then. Based in Bishop Stortford in Hertfordshire, they have excelled in cabinet design. They have made their speakers some of the most respected in the audio world. They continue to build their brand quietly on a steady stream of quality speakers. And the 3050 is a good example. The cabinet has been designed to reduce unwanted resonance with its rounded corners. This is coupled with a bracing system that reduces unwanted vibrations. The result is a speaker that is rigid and tight and delivers a clean, pure sound. Inside the cabinets are two 6.5-inch drivers, which are supported internally by thick baffles. The tweeter is 0.8 inches and handles all the high frequencies, while the two woofers that produce the mids and bass. It also features a rear bass reflex port, which is an open vent that, in theory, lets the speakers control the bass working in tandem with the rigid design. The number 8 position is held by JBL Stage Aeon 180. We won't dwell on the history of JB Lansing and his JBL speakers. The name is enough to conjure up thoughts of great and powerful speaker systems for guitar and bass, as well as fantastic classic studio speakers, which are still used to this day. Not only that, but they are also known for their home audio. This speaker is the A180 from the Stage series by JBL. It is a lot of speaker at a very competitive price point, which makes it a contender for one of the best floor standing speakers. It has a nice solid build without trigger feet that give it a good balance. Supplied are spikes for using on carpet or rubber feet for hard surfaces. It has two 6.5 inch polycellulose woofers that deliver a tight and extended bass range. They also give you a very defined clarity for the mids making even the most complex of music sound very clear. JBL has years of experience producing speakers for concert-level performance. It shows in the sound of this speaker. The highs are not shrill or piercing. Some might say they lack a certain brightness, but we would disagree because as the volume goes up, they certainly don't hurt the ears. Next at number 9, we have Onkyo SKF 4802 Weight Bass Reflex Floor. Anyone who knows their audio will know Onkyo, a family-run business from Osaka in Japan, who consistently put out quality speakers. This pair of speakers are great examples of how good but also how cost-effective their speakers are. These are an ideal design for either music or home cinema use. They are two-way bass reflex speakers. They have two 6.3-inch woofers that create a big atmosphere in the low and mid-frequency ranges. 
This is complemented by a 1-inch soft tone tweeter, which gives beautifully clear and concise highs. At the bottom of the rear of the speakers are the bass ports. All combined, they produce a sound wave of their designated price point. They have a peak power rating of 130 watts, and they have a frequency response of 55 HC 35 HC. They have a good build from 1-2 MDF fiberboard and measure 12 by 11.6 by 40.7 inches tall, weighing 37 and a half pounds. Also, they feature an MDF stabilizer base to reduce any vibrations. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Polk Signature Series S50 floor standing speaker. Polk is a well-known audio company that produces a range of speakers for a variety of uses. This floor standing speaker can be used for either music or as part of a home cinema system. It is bi-wire and bi-amp capable, courtesy of a couple of five-way binding posts. There are two 5.25-inch polypropylene mid-range drivers. They have butyl rubber surrounds and deliver a clean mid and bass sound with low distortion. The tweeter is a 1-inch tourmaline domed design that provides a crisp frequency response. At the bottom of the cabinet is a power port. This is designed to move the airflow to a wide area and extend the bass performance. The crossover array produces a natural sound at any point in a room. It has a power rating of 150 watts peak per channel. The cabinet itself is well made with a magnetic grill. It has a rigid structure to reduce any internal unwanted resonance. It stands 37.5 inches tall by 11 deep and 7.5 inches wide, and it weighs 32 pounds. However, it has some rather strange looking feet that don't look like they belong to the unit. That's all for today. We upload music product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.